I am alive. That's the first thing I want to start off by saying. I am alive, all as well. And I'm here to give you all. So for those of you who follow me over on Instagram, I haven't taken a break, but it's been a while since I posted over here on YouTube. And today I'm coming to give you all a bit of an update in terms of what I've been up to. I'm going to tell you all about Upro, my tech startup, and I'm going to also give you all a walkthrough for you all to see how Upro can help you to settle in Canada and settle safer and faster. All right. So first of all, the kids are doing great. They are in grade one and grade two now. Um, they are growing well. They are more Canadian than ever before. <laughs> right. And we still live in Edmonton, Alberta. All is well. All is well. Apart from that, this May would make it five years since we have moved to Canada. So when I first started this YouTube channel, we had just moved. Um, we were in Calgary. It was fresh. I was just trying to like figure out what was going on in my life, right? And now we are almost five years in, right? So in the next couple of months, you'll be five years in Canada. My oh my, has these past five years been uh, like a roller coaster, all right? So let's get into it. A couple of videos back, I told you all about Upro which is a company that I started to help newcomers to settle in Canada. And I wanted to give you all a bit of an update on where Upro is at right now. And towards the end of this video, I'm going to tell you all what we plan to do with this YouTube channel moving forward. So as I said, Upro is a settlement app. And I'm so excited about the potential for Upro. The whole entire intention of Upro is to prevent people from going through what it is I went through when I first came to Canada, right? So y'all heard the stories, y'all saw my journey from beginning to end, and I wanted to find a platform where we could connect people to their community, as well as connect them to local resources, including businesses, service providers, so that they can enjoy the benefits of being in a wider community and getting access to that insider information that took me so long to figure out on my own. So Upro, right, is an all-encompassing go-to platform for newcomers to Canada where persons can find housing, legal advice, banking, language tutoring, shopping and coupons for newcomer discounts, career coaching, connecting of utilities, and a community. All right. So this is how the platform looks. And I'm so excited about the potential for this platform because we have over 9 million persons who are in Canada who identify as immigrants currently. All right. And immigrants are not quite okay. So we did a survey and we found that 33% of persons had lost money to immigration fraud. And I'm sure you all on here know of someone who has lost money to immigration fraud. It's so, it's so, 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 um, so I see that we all know and face, right? 50% of persons have financial anxiety, 70% have decision paralysis, and 90% of persons experience loneliness through and after immigration. And this is where Opera comes in, presenting a safe platform where persons can interact with verified service providers, save money, make faster decisions, and this is all done within the comfort of their community. So this is why I've been so busy, guys. <laughs> Opera has kind of taken over my life. So this is me standing up there um, on stage, um, giving a presentation. And I've been doing this basically for the past two years, pitching and presenting my heart away, trying to get Opera out of my mind and into reality, right? And you know what? It hasn't gone in vain. So far to date, we have over 4,000 active users. We have launched on both Apple and Android in open beta mode. I completed the Velocity program, which is a pre-accelerator here in Edmonton, as well as I'm currently a part of a global accelerator called 500 Global. We have also won the BIPOC in Women, Women in Tech Pitch Competition hosted by the Innovate Calgary and the University of Calgary. I won the Her Story Pitch Competition, the BCW Pitch Competition. Our opera was actually listed as one of the top five startups in Edmonton by Startup TNT. I know, I've been busy, right? I've been busy. And uh, it has been an amazing experience thus far. 
So one of the most recent things that we launched is our Opera French community. And we launched this with 25 students. So the French community in Opera is to help persons to learn to speak French, right? Um, you pay for it as a monthly payment of 99 Canadian a month. And for that, you get 12 official classes, four conversational classes, and access to the actual community, which is a fun, engaging community to learn French, right? So in total, you have 12 hours of classes plus four hours, so that's 16 hours, as well as access to the community. And why is French important? Well, if you're thinking about migrating to Canada, you would realize that we have these very specific drawers for French speakers, persons who can pass that TEF exam. As well as if you're in Canada and you're looking for a job, being able to have that TEF exam or being able to speak French gives you the option of bypassing the need to have a LIMA, which is a labor market impact assessment. Not to mention, French is the, the second official language of Canada. Right. So if you're talking about being Canadian, if you want to live throughout Canada, and interact with every single Canadian, learning French will be an asset to you. So we're very excited about this French community. And our very new feature that I wanted to talk to you all today about is the 80 plus feature, right? So everyone of us talks about these 80 plus streams of immigration, 80 plus streams of immigration, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But hardly ever do we have a source where we can go and read up on what these 80 plus streams of immigration actually is. Well, we included that list on Upro, right? So the new feature allows you to explore your path and it's a guide to the immigration streams in Canada. So I just wanted to go through now and explain to persons how you can actually create your Upro account. We're gonna start from the beginning. I'm gonna walk you all through. And again, remember, wait until the end and you'll be able to see um, where we're gonna be going with Upro in the future. So the first thing you're gonna do is go to upro.ca. I would link that down in the description. And while you're on our website, check it out. Check out all of your different features. See what we have been doing over these past two years and see also some of our upcoming features or customer reviews, et cetera, et cetera. What you're gonna do is click on that download app button. Right. This will take you to your app store. You can also just go directly to your app store and download Upro. And then you're going to go to login. Now, if you do not have an account already, you need to click on not a member, register now. And then it will take you to the sign up page. In the sign up page, you're going to go right ahead, put in your email, your password. You're going to confirm your password. After confirming your password, you're going to click on I have read the terms and conditions, accept emails, and then you're going to sign up. On this sign up page, you're going to actually be creating your profile. So you're going to start with your profile picture. You could take a picture live or you can upload a picture from your gallery. And then you're going to put in information like your name. In here, you can feel free to use a nickname. It doesn't have to be like your official name on your passport. Um, your name, your last name, your mobile number. Your city. So I'm currently in Edmonton. Your state, Alberta. If your country doesn't have a state, just put NA or not applicable. And you're going to select your location from the list. So I'm currently in Canada. And then you save your profile. If you have any incorrect things on this page, like your number is not long enough, it will tell you, make the correction and then save. And this is how the homepage looks, right? So we have all of these different tabs. I'm going to start off by showing you all the news feed. So on here, you can post, you can connect to other persons in your community. You're going to go into the career coaching tab where you have all of the career coaches who are currently on the platform. You're going to go into the language tutoring tab. On here, you can actually join the French community by clicking on this tab and making your payment, or you could book with a French tutor. Then you have the settlement services tab. You could connect utilities, figure out about rent to own in Canada, as well as speak to a real estate agent. On all of them are free calls. You have the education consultant tab. We have an upper student community. Yes, we do. And it's free, right? So you can join our student community or book a call with our education consultant. And then last but not least, we have our immigration consultant tab or immigration lawyer. So all of these persons in here are immigration lawyers. And you actually have the opportunity to book a free 15-minute call with an immigration law firm from in this tab. 
So I'm going to show you all how you could actually go about booking this call. This call ideally is for persons who are serious about immigration, and this call would be used to match you with a lawyer on their team. And then that other call, or the second call after this, is where you would have to pay money to speak to the lawyer one on one. So it's basically a screening call to make sure that when you pay money to book with a lawyer, that you're booking the right one, right? So when you click on schedule a call, it's going to ask you to complete your profile, which you are going to do. In completing your profile, you don't need to upload a picture again, but what we want is your legal name this time. So this is the information that I'll be forwarded onto the law firm and they need to know some information about you, right? So we're talking your legal name as shown on your passport. You're gonna then go and put in your birthday, and the reason why we would need this information, if you all have been doing any research in immigration, you know that your date of birth or your age plays a very big factor in terms of what streams of immigration you're even eligible for. So what we're trying to look at here is your eligibility for different programs in immigration. I right, say so put in your birthday, you're going to put in your home country, and you're going to put in your country of residence. So this could be different, right? You're also going to put in the languages that you speak. And tell me about your immigration goals. So this could be anything from when do you plan to migrate to why do you want to migrate? Or do you think that there's any hindrance or challenges you're facing? You could put that in there. And this is a mandatory section, meaning that if you do not put in anything there, it would not allow you to move forward. So on this page, what we're looking for is your education level. So you're going to tick off what was your um, highest level of education. And it's also going to ask you to upload a resume, but that is optional. So if you don't have a resume on your phone, feel free to bypass this section. Next, we're talking about your work experience. So what we're looking for is the last place that you have worked, right? So you're going to put in your last work experience, name of the company, your position there, how much years you worked, and you're going to click on next. Then it's going to ask you about your marital status. So whatever your marital status is, you're going to put it in there. And if you put that you're married or common law, it's also going to ask you for information about your spouse. It's asking you about how many kids you have. And then it will ask you about your spouse's work history, right? So the name of the company that they work at, their position there, and how long they have worked there. All right, and again, this is just pre-screening information to take to make that call that you're having more efficient. Awesome. Next, we're gonna go, and then once you've um, filled out all of those things, it will carry you to the calendar where you're gonna book your call with the immigration law firm, and you're gonna enjoy those benefits. The next thing I wanted to talk to you all about is the 80 plus feature, right? So it's on the same tab there with the immigration lawyers, except you're going to click on the immigration pathway tab. On this tab, you're going to click on schedule a call. And because your um, profile has already been created, it's going to carry you directly to the link, right? So on this link, you have all of the streams of immigration, including the federal streams, um, you're going to also be able to book your free call from in here directly. You're going to see the Alberta PNPs there. You're going to be able to figure out about French from there as well. <laughs> British Columbia PNPs, Manitoba PNPs, New Brunswick PNPs, Newfoundland, Nova Scotia, Northwest Territories, Ontario. Prince Edward Island, Yukon, and Quebec. And there you have it. So I hope that you all actually go create your account on Upro and enjoy this new feature. As for the future of Upro, what we're doing next is we actually upgrade any platform, right? So we upgrade any platform and that upgrade will be coming out in March. I'm super excited about it. And as for the future of this YouTube channel, we are looking at doing some content for Pro, maybe bringing back some vlogs from before, because I currently do vlogging via stories over on Instagram, right? Maybe bringing some of that over here. And I actually would love to hear your suggestions. So what I want you to do, comment down below. <laughs> comment down below and let me know what you would like to see on this YouTube channel. Would you like a mixture of updates about Upro? 
Would you like some more vlogging? Would you like some content around immigration news and rule changes? Let me know down below because right now this is what we are doing with the YouTube channel. We're seeing like what it is we're actually going to be using it for. Guys, remember the journey surprise. You can check down in the description for all of the links that I mentioned before. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.